Thank you, ma'am. Go ahead. Hello. Um, you talked a lot about humility. Um, I wanted to know what was the time period or conversation or just the turning point, point that led you to start and like hit the ground running and get your team together so you can make your vision come to reality. Is that a Chewy specific question or is that a life experience question? Yeah, a life experience question. I see. Uh, I think there are some pivotal moments. There will be some pivotal moments uh, in your career uh, or in your journey that if you're lucky or fortunate to be able to stand in front and recognize, uh, it would likely change the course or the trajectory uh, of your curve. Uh, if you, in business books or, or career learning models, it's been called you know, understanding where you are on the S-curve. Uh, this will make more sense if you draw, the, draw an S on a paper, and if you consider the curve is kind of how you're progressing your career, the ideal point to jump from one job to another one is when you're coming up, coming up the tangent, tangent on the top part of the S. And you jump from there, and ideally you want to land on the next tangent of the next curve. And if you plot enough S's, your career will actually look like a 45-degree a, a incline rather than kind of the meandering careers that most of us had. I've had a meandering career. So if you can, so, but, the, but, the, but the, the essence of the question is, like, what are these trigger points that you can actually help, what, what were mine? So one, I'll give you an example. See, I'm, a, I'm an atypical uh, candidate in a CEO's position. Uh, maybe not now, but classically, when you look at trained CEOs, they either come from marketing, or they come from business, or they come from sales. I'm a supply chain guy. Uh, and I ran factories before I actually you know, got interested in business. But the fact that I was interested in business, I think is the more important part. Because at some point I said, you know, I know how to really take cost out of the system because I'd done supply chain, engineering, and operations management. Now I want to learn how revenue is generated. I think that part is more important than actually the job that you're in or the success that you found. Because that propelled me to then raise my hand and say, OK, I'm done entirely with this world. How do I now go and find a job as a marketer? That part is what you have to kind of train yourself to. So that, that's the learning agility, the putting yourself outside of your comfort zone. So that was one pivotal moment, I would say. The second one was you know, Dell had deployed uh, or was successful in the United States. And they were looking, for, they were looking to stand up you know, their Chinese operation. And I'd never been to China, but I raised my hand. Because uh, they were looking for teams, they were looking for consulting teams to go to China and help us with the model. And I said, look, like, I, I come from India. I understand the culture, the heritage, the hierarchy. I understand how uh, complex distributed supply chains work in countries like these. Uh, send me. You're not losing anything. Uh, if I fail, great, I'll come back and pick up a different job. And so that ended up you know, a two-year assignment in Beijing where I helped kind of Dell bring up its, its business in China. And that then fundamentally differentiated me from my colleagues. And now my experience was that much more wider. And the, the, but most importantly, I had earned credibility. That then allowed me to raise my hand and say and ask for something else that was crazy. And the next time I asked for something crazy, people didn't look at me funny. Because they were like, well, he's been there. He's done that. And we'd rather take a bet with this person than the next person. I think that's kind of what you have to sort of, I think, set yourself up to. So the job doesn't matter, the career doesn't matter. It's these moments, I think, that matter more. Great answer.